Hey guys, in beautiful Monument, Colorado here. And this video is gonna be about my deck. Yeah, you can see it's just naturally worn. But I figured this would help people that are moving to Colorado and never heard of classic homes before like we have. And such great experience with these people. No, not at all. First off, we had our windows done over here. All replaced, every window. Every seal in the house fucking leaked from the builder quality of windows. And I wish I was doing YouTube at the time because I replaced some of the trim boards with a cement board. Then do it, do it right, right? So you're not gonna have this problem again. Well, when I took these trims off, you could see how the windows were attached. The windows were attached, if I was lucky, with a, uh, a nail on either side, no flashing, no caulk, no nothing. Well, I did the basement uh, four windows myself with Milgard triple pane windows, and yeah, I went a little higher end because I was doing it myself. And that's how I learned, and I replaced the, the trim, and found out that, uh, you know, they were just not installed correctly at all. And it's why we had some water leaks and whatever. So I installed those 100% correctly. And then these ones, our Window World, they uh, they installed them in the whole house. I mean, every window in our house, every window in our house here, you can see. Sorry, apparently they're mowing today and the grass isn't even long. Freaking. <laughs> but anyways this video is going to be about the deck and you can see my temporary fix here because I was sitting at the computer one day a couple months ago got some rain and it leaked in I'm sitting there turns out it was because there's no flashing under there and we'll take a closer look at that from down below I'll admit we need a new deck not looking for a new deck but did call homeowners they're coming out today there's no flashing along any of this. It's bolted right to the siding. Fucking morons. I called the insurance company and I look, hear a noise. I look out and our neighbor over there is getting a new deck. Classic homes. So they already, re, re, I'm gonna zoom in where they cut out, but you can see how it's like moldy and rotty. And I don't know what else, I don't know what else their deck company is gonna do, but um, you know, that's what we, oops, sorry guys, and you're zoomed in. Well, I'll, I'll move away from their house, so if they're looking out their window, they're not like, what the hell. I'm zoom back out here. I'm not sure what their deck, deck company's doing, but, uh, I talked to them and they were like, yeah, there's no flashing or anything. This is a class, a classic home. This, this is normal. We had a deck guy come out to look at doing a steel frame deck. We're still waiting for the quote, but he also said basically the same thing, like, oh, this is so common, classic homes just, they cut corners. He doesn't like to name businesses, but as soon as I pointed it out, you know, he, he opened it up, or opened up to me how these guys operate. And how did this pass Monument Colorado code enforcement with these shitty decks? So now let's go down below. Okay, we're down below, guys. As you can see, it's just bolted right on. Let's see if I can find. Here we have this silly vent. So as the, the that guy that came out, he goes, "Fucking builders, they could have just raised the deck up to be flush, walking out of the house, and then that wouldn't be sticking partly above." You know, freaking morons. So I'm sure he's gonna. He might install level because whole new deck. But yeah, there's no flashing up in there. And of course, bottom is rotting because it's painted. I guess you're not supposed to paint it. So we, we do need a new deck, but man, this thing's installed incorrectly. Here, you can see over here. Oop, get my finger out of there. Look at that. All the way down. But that's covered up on that side, you know, because we have the upstairs overhangs. So that's not going to really rot, but it is installed incorrectly. 
It's supposed to be flashing behind there. I also was looking at a product called Stratton Hanger too. So, um, still duck, but he still cuts out. But I might ask him about the Stratton Hanger and see if he can uh, use that method. Maybe combine the two. And then the deck, you don't have to cut in here, the deck just stays away from the wall and it's hung on brackets. So, yeah. So I'm not looking for a new deck. I'm just looking for this. To, I'm just looking for this to be, uh, you know, obviously, well, I don't know what's in the wall. You know, how much water leaked and how long it's been leaking until it happened to pour out at the window when I was sitting there. So if you're moving to Colorado, and just because you have awesome views, uh, I would stay away from classic homes. They suck. The buildings suck. The realtor kind of hinted at us. Of course, they're not supposed to discourage you from companies and stuff. That's not ethical, I guess, but... Man, they did not, uh, she hinted at it, and she said, well, you never know what's in the walls, and she dropped little things, you know, sorry, didn't really pick up on it, it's only our second house purchase, and I guess we should have listened. Classic homes suck. The build quality sucks. And behind, behind this lovely exterior, which I guess is, they can use, is like some really thin stuff it's not even plywood it's not even osb board it's it's really thin with aluminum like a shiny coating on it so it's that insulation then drywall the fuck if i would have known that i would have stayed away so i'm giving you guys a heads up because we fixed so much on this house i mean even if we sold this house let's say the market's up right now for 350 well, that might be breaking even we put a lot of money in this house to get it to where we like it and unfortunately more money with the deck it sucks so classic homes let don't even bother looking at them unless you can like watch their build as they're being built otherwise fuck it guys don't do it take care don't buy classic and have a good day.